Now then, YouTube. I am the Tough Man, and welcome back to some more Moon Quest. We're on uh, episode uh, episode four, and um, we have updated to 0 0.7 of the Moon Quest pack. There are still a few niggly little problems and bugs and things that still need to be sorted out. Mainly, it's with servers. If people are running servers, there seems to be an issue when you're saving, and uh, there seems to be an issue with Tux Weapons mod as well. So, if you're having issues, um, see if you can see it in the uh, in the logs and see if it's Tux Weapons. I have bug reported everything that's been bug reported to me, so hopefully these people uh, will be able to see them. And I don't know why every time I come in here and uh, plant my 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 cocoa beans, it's, it seems to get like a big lag. Big lag. It doesn't like me doing my cocoa beans. That's a problem. Alright, so, you can see, I have uh, an interesting collection of uh, blocks in my inventory, which I'll get to in a second. And uh, look at this, guys. I've gone and smelted absolutely everything up, apart from my, my, my uh, aluminium that I haven't... And yes, I'm looking at you, April. It is aluminium, not aluminium. Um, I, I know it says aluminium there. That's obviously because the person who did that was American. It's definitely aluminium. Um... I even thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to have a look. I'm going to have a look into this and see exactly what it should be called. And apparently it was standardised in like the 1980s or something like that to be aluminium. So, hey, hey it's aluminium. <laughs> Alright, so, let's uh, get this piece of uh, crops up there. Plant them all back down again. And let's build ourselves this. Which I need. I need this, guys, because I want to get myself the hammer. And I can't get the hammer until I've got the uh, the forge station. Is it the forge station or tool forge? It's one of the two. Let's plonk that there, like there, like there. And there we have it. The tool forge, guys. The tool forge. How amazing is that? Now, we have this little house out here. It hasn't got a roof yet. You, my things usually tend not to have a roof. Um, but here we are. This is what I want. I want the hammer. So I'm going to need some plates. I'm going to need this hammer head. And I'm going to need, um, I think it's a strong tool rod or something like that. So why don't we go ahead and make one of those. Oh, I'm wandering around like mad because I don't know what I'm actually doing. Um, wood. We're going to need some of that. going to certainly need some of that. Have we got any uh, spare things in here? We do have some spare things in here. Let me just take it off uh, cheat mode as well. Happened in the update. Right, we won. That's the sword blade. Where's the plates? That's the tough tool rod, but I don't know if it is the tough tool rod that we actually need there. They would definitely need a, um, a large plate pattern. So let's go ahead and make some more thingies. Plunk them there. Uh, lovely. We're going to need them, that's for sure. Uh, that we're going to need, the hammerhead. And we're going to need... I'm sure it's the tough tool rod. I'm going to make one anyway, for the fun is. And uh, we need to make one of these, actually. So let's get some cobblestone. Part builder. Tough tool rod in there, please. How many do we need? Three. I'll put three in there. Oh, there we are. St uh, stone tough rod. Brilliant. How many do we need for this? Eight. Oh, my God. Eight for the stone large plate. And uh, eight more. Jesus. That's quite a lot. I'll just do it that way. Be easy enough. Right, now I've got these, I can actually make casts of these. Um, I only have one aluminium brass ingot left, so I'm going to have to actually use that. So, uh, what was it? Three aluminium and one copper, wasn't it? Yeah. And one copper. I think we'll make some more of that. I have turned the the the, uh, the, the clock off for the moment because I want to work with it. So, um, I've got this little staircase and I've made the smeltery bigger, of course. I forgot to tell you guys about that. Three aluminium, one copper in there. We'll leave it to uh, make its business. Yeah, I made the smeltery bigger. And uh, I put two drains on there as well. With all this stuff. I don't know if you actually saw that. I've just moved everything upwards a bit. And uh, everything comes out into here. Now, I'll turn this off momentarily because I don't want it to be pulling out the uh, the copper instead of the thing. So, let me just take that out actually because we don't need that. And it's easier to get to when I'm in here now. Just wait for the copper to uh, smelt up, 
and uh, oh, we should be ready to do this. So what, what are my aims for this episode? Well, I want to get one of those hammers. I definitely want to get one of those hammers. That's definitely the first aim that I want. And uh, and then I want to start getting involved with some of the uh, the machines that are involved in this. I want to start getting involved with uh, some basic components kind of stuff going on there as well. So there's me, molten aluminium brass, two ingots worth in there. Um, I'm going to need some sort of like a stepping stone or something. I think the wood would look better, to be honest. Let's plonk that there. Okay, so let's take these out. And let's put one of them in. I don't know if it actually needs eight to make uh, a pattern of it. I don't think it does. Which we'll soon find out anyway. Can I not do that? Is it not even going to let me? Hmm. Interesting. See, that's three. I think we actually need the amount that it says. And that's eight as well. Um, well, let's put another ingot in here. And let this smelt up. Oh, what the heck? Oh, there we are. Let's let, let that smelt up, and I'll be back when it's done. Alright, guys, so we've got our three aluminium brass ingots in there. I'm wondering if this is how it works, because I'm not entirely familiar with it myself. So let's put the tough tool rod pattern in there. No. Oh, what am I doing? I even went through this in the first... You know, things have changed a lot since. You used to be able to just pour it into the uh, the wooden cast and it would make one of the ingot ones, but... Oh, man. What an idiot. What an absolute idiot that I am. It's these that I need to put in there, isn't it? <sighs> I'd forget my head if it was not screwed onto my neck. I swear it. I swear it, guys. Right. Let's get this plate on the go, then. Right, this will uh, give me both, I believe. <gasps> Where is it? Where's my other one? Oh, balls. Well, I didn't want to do that. Where are they all going? Oh, they're in there, look. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. I don't, know what I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Right, st uh, stone, tough rod. Let's get that in there. That'll be our last one, unfortunately, because I've gone ahead and used that. I wonder if you can actually melt these back up again, these blank casts. Can you do that? <gasps> you can. That is amazing. I like that. That's good. Let's get that stone rod now. Right, we've got the uh, tough tool rod cast. We've got our large plate cast. I'll go ahead and make the stone hammer cast and get my stuff ready to make one of these hammers, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I've been thinking long and hard about what to make this hammer out of, and I've come across something in the materials and new book. Um, I was looking through this and I thought, oh, is, is it worth doing a full-on iron um, hammer? And I was looking through it and I thought, yeah, that looks alright. Because remember, we've got the reinforced trait on there as well. But it's mining li mining speed of 6 and a mining level of redstone. So that's pretty good. Durability is 250. The handle modifier is 1.3 times. Uh, the full t tool durability is 325. So I thought to myself, hmm... That's actually not going to last quite long. So then I was looking through it, Alumite, I can't get to the nether just yet because I haven't got any diamonds for a diamond pickup. Blue slime, very good durability, very good handle modifier, but unfortunately the mining speed is really, really slow and the mining level is, is horrible, it's, it's only stone. Um, the green slime, of course, exactly the same, just half the, uh, well, less durability. And then I was looking through these and I thought, oh, these are only like uh, thingamabobs. But then I come to these, cobalt and ardite. Again, can't get to because of uh, the fact that I ain't got the nether. Manual, uh, manualin and copper. And then I found steel. Steel has a durability of 750. It has a handle modifier of 1.3. So it's full to till durability is 974. Its mining speed is immense at 8. And its mining level is 4, which is cobalt, which is which I think I'll be able to get um, obsidian with as well. And its mining trait is reinforced, so it's got exactly the same reinforced as uh, the iron. However, this one's level 2, whereas that one's level 1. So I thought to myself, steel! That is exactly what I'm going to be making it out of. So inside here, I've very nearly got all this steel uh, cooking up. And uh, it needs to be done in the smeltery. I'm going to need quite a bit of steel as well. Let's pop that in there. Going to need quite a bit of it because it's going to take uh, eight per plate, and I need two plates. I need um, three for the rod and eight for the uh, stone hammer head uh, for the hammer blah, 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 for the hammer head as well. So once that's done, and once that's all nicely and, and put together, and all in the smeltery for you guys, I will be back. 
Now then guys, I am back. Look at this. I've only got four bits of steel left to cook up. Fuel's looking good so far. Fuel is looking good. But inside there, I do have some steel already ready for me to go ahead and make my uh, my steel stuff. And uh, for some reason, I've gone and I've brought this with me. No, I don't really need this stuff. I need this. The casts. So let's get that. Let's get that. And let's get that. Okay. Hammerhead. You first. Steel hammerhead, please. Might take a while to fill up, actually, because eight ingots worth of steel going into there. My god, that's quite a lot, actually. I only need one of those, though. Right, that's done. And uh, nicely sucked out by my hopper. Tool tough rod next. Only three ingots for this one. Thank you very much. And then last, last but not least is the large plate cast. Now that's going to go ahead. I don't know when it's quite finished. Oh, well, this will stop flowing when it's quite finished. And I'll see it in the uh, in the thing as well. Right, that should be uh, done, which it is. And one more. Awesome. That should be enough. I should, um, yeah, I was going to say those uh, steel plates should be now... Well, those uh, steel ingots should have been finished, which they are. Look at that. Look at this, guys. This is going to be like the ledgest hammer you've ever seen. It's just going to be ripping stuff up, left, right, and center, guys. It really is. So let's go ahead and make this thing in the tool forge. St Oops. There it is. That there, that there, and a couple of plates. The most amazing hammer ever. Mark 1. Because I'm sure I'm going to be making another one at some point. Oh my god, look at that. It's apparently called, it's apparently stonebound as well. I don't, oh, ooh, ooh, I nearly messed it up there, didn't I? Good job I double checked that. Reinforced 2, the most amazing hammer ever. It attacks for 3, look at the durability, it's 8,774. Holy crap. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be bloody fixing this for a while, am I? The most amazing hammer ever, Mark 1. Jesus. Right, let's go into the mines and uh, do a bit of uh, strip mining. Let's give myself some steak first. Give myself some food. Bit of mining with the most amazing hammer ever, Mark 1. All the way down here. Oh man, I can't wait to be ripping the terrain up with this. 8,000 durability is mental. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Yes, it does a 3x3 three three area. Like this. Oh man, this is going to make short work of, like, mining. In fact, I won't need my pick anymore. You bugger off over there, look. I'll put some uh, torches down. Can I right click with it? Oh, I can, yes, good stuff. Well, there's this thing with Tinker's Construct where you can actually right click and you'll place a torch. And it will take it from your torches, so, you know, you're not doing all special. Oh, oh, quick, nick it, nick it. Oh, oh. You always get that problem mining around this uh, this level. Level 11, let's go this way. I might come across my cave system when I'm going this way, actually. Come to think of it. Oh man, this hammer. This hammer is going to be the most amazing... Oh, found diamonds, guys! Whoa. Let's dig them out using my most amazing hammer ever, Mark 1. Oh man, this is fantastic. I am absolutely loving this. And I will certainly be ripping the terrain up with this stuff um, be between episodes. I won't do it now, guys, because otherwise, you know, you, you, you'll you get bored. And we want to start getting on with some proper stuff. Some proper stuff, I tell you. So, I want to start making some machines. I want to start making the basic machines that I can in uh, basic components and um, for Galacticraft. So let's just go, I just had a drink there guys, do apologise for the long, awkward silence for about three seconds there. Let me just um, ha show you exactly what we'll, we'll be doing. We need, first and foremost, a NASA workbench. That's the first thing that we need. Well, it's not really the first thing that we need. We need this stuff. So compressed steel, how do we make that? The advanced wafers, how do we make those? Well, that's what we need to do. We need to get the stuff to be able to make these. So, I don't know, should we have like a little to-do board? Oh, it's nearly night time. Quick, 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 quick. Let me in. Let me. There we are. There we are. <sighs> ah. That's 
plonk them in there. Diamonds, four diamonds worth. Oh yes, that is just great. And look at the amount of cobble that I'm getting already. Jeez. Jesus. Right, we don't need those, so we'll put them in there. Get our cookers. Look at how many cookers we've got. It's mad. Alright guys, so... We need to make the NASA workbench, so we need to get this compressed steel. And in order to do that, we need what's called an ingot compressor. It's not known as an ingot compressor in any eye, it's known as a compressor. I don't, I know. It's like really annoying. Um, you've got the normal version of you've got the electric version. Of course, we want the normal version, which is a compressor. Um, for that, you're going to need an anvil, you're going to need a basic wafer. So we're going to need something before we can craft this compressor. What do we need? We need a circuit fabricator. Let's have a look at one of them then. Circuit fabricator. There it is. This looks okay. Oh, we need a ton of wool, um, loads of aluminium in blah, 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 aluminium ingots. This this looks doable. This definitely looks doable. But I'm sure that this requires power. Have we got any generators in here? We do. We have a generator, a coal generator. Are we, do we have any other generator? A fulmination generator. Oh, man, you've got atomic science, haven't we? Oh, man, we can create, like, the ledger's generator ever. Oh, yes. It, it's going to happen at some stage. It is going to happen. Three three copper, four iron, a furnace, and some more aluminium wire. Uh, do we have all in the way of wool? We do not have all in the way of wool. Shippies. Shippies. It's time. Shippies. Let me collect some wool off camera, guys, and I'll be back. Ah, uh, look at that. 13 pieces of wool. We've got enough to get this going, guys. Right, we need... Ah, oh, we need aluminium. And this is the only type of aluminium we've got. Oh, that reminds me, actually. Let me go and get this other type of uh, aluminium that we've got. Tons of it. Absolutely tons of it. Now, this does not work. Or is it the other way around? I think it's the other way around, actually. This, al this other aluminium. This aluminium here which is the Tinker's Aluminium, doesn't work with the Galacticraft recipes, or at least didn't used to work with the Galacticraft re recipes. No, it doesn't. So what I've gone ahead and done, guys, is I've put in um, a custom recipe that will allow you to just put the aluminium ingot inside a crafting table or inside your crafting grid on your person, and it will automatically be able to change it for the other type of aluminium. So now we've got the aluminium that we can actually use to make the aluminium wire. How amazing is that? How awesome is that? So now we've got the aluminium wire, we need the rest of the stuff. So we need a furnace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. That's right, guys. Unless you didn't know how to craft a furnace. There is a furnace. Right, we need four iron, three copper. We've got plenty of that. We'll certainly have a lot more now. I've got my ledgest axe ever, hammer ever, Mark 1. Plonk that there, plonk that there, and there, there, and there. Furnace in there, aluminium wire in there. Ah, oh, yes. Our first thing, guys, a coal generator. We're going to put it in our little hut that we've got here. We may as well. Now, it's a very strange thing is this, because it outputs power, but it only outputs power to, like, one direction, which is really annoying. I don't mean, like, one direction, the band, you know. They just be sat there, and it outputs power towards one direction. I don't think it works quite like that. It outputs power to the side here. And as far as I'm aware, none of the wrenches seem to actually work on this. Oh, mind you, there's a new wrench. There's a standard wrench, a wrench, wrench, and a wrench. A wrench, 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 wrench. There's loads of them. But you can put coal in here, it'll generate power. So now we need to get the circuit fabricator. That is the one thing that we're going to need to craft the rest of the stuff. So you need... Oh, this is pretty easy. But we can do this. We're making progress, guys. Progress. Need another furnace. Oh, mixed it up there and put one in another spot. How amazing is that? Um, yeah, one more furnace, brilliant. Uh, gonna need two aluminium wire, redstone torch, lever. Do we already have a lever? Um, I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Do we have any sticks kicking around? We don't have any sticks either. My God, what am I doing with my life? Lever. Spot on. Redstone torch. Couple of buttons. I still don't get how you get one button from a huge block of stone like that. Never mind. Never mind. Two buttons. Two aluminium ingots. We still haven't made the thing, have we? There we go. Why did I get two bits of redstone? I've no idea. Aluminium. Aluminium. Oh, I've got it there. Right. 
Have we got it? Have we got everything? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Lever, redstone torch, a couple of buttons on the sides, them there, and that and that. Now we're going to need this aluminium wire, so don't chuck it away, whatever you do. Because... There we are. Right, now this power... I don't know where it powers to, is it this side? Oh, it does. It's really, really, really strange. It's annoying. Um, I think this can pick it up. It can. Lovely. Brilliant. Not worse like IC2 when you pick up your thing and it's gone. So we're going to need to place it sideways. Strange, I know, but that's just the way that it's going to be going to be going for the moment. So its resistance is 50, 50 ohms, and its max amps is 200 kiloamps per second. No, kiloamps. Right. This voltage is 120. Well, what does that mean for that? I don't know. I don't know how many amps is in a volt. I don't even know if they're the same thing, to be quite honest. Anyway, it's connected up. And uh, we can now power it up. Oh, look at this. Looks well complicated. Five kilowatts. Okay, so that is 200 kilo, kilo amps. Kilo amps? Oh, I'm confused, man. I'm just confused. Don't know what's going on there at all. 120 volts. Right. That's what it needs to run on. Voltage 120. I think that's going to be enough. Oh yeah, it's just enough actually to uh, to power this particular circuit fabricator. Brilliant. So, we've got the circuit fabric, got that. So how do we make the compressor again? Because that's the next thing on our list, is the compressor. So we need a basic wafer, that's what we need. Right, we need a diamond, two raw silicon, a redstone and a redstone torch. Have we got those stuff? Diamond, two silicon, one redstone. Oh, we've got we're just happened to have a redstone torch there, you know. That's fantastic. So we do have all the stuff needed to make a basic wafer. Um, we're gonna need some coal as well because it's a coal generator. It runs off coal, would you believe? Eventually, we'll get something that does run off uh, like solar power. At least I hope we'll get that. I have to have a look into that. Uh, but anyway, that's been it for this episode, guys. We'll finish off what we started uh, the, for the next episode next time. And um, guys, big thing, uh, I'm in the future, not quite now, but if you're interested, I am looking at letting people uh, join in with uh, with my with this series not this series in particular but this server i am looking to uh, expand it and maybe let people join in but like i said it's it's nothing in set in concrete yet and i still need to uh, to iron out all the bugs to make sure everything's like proper okay before i do anything like that and uh, yeah, I'm looking looking to do that. If you're interested in something like that, or if, they, if that's something that you are interested in, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, if you've liked this episode, please do leave it a like, guys, because that would be amazingly amazing if you could, uh, and would really help out the channel as, as well as this series, which would be fantastic for me, which would be absolutely a ledge. So until next time, I've been the Softman. Thanks very much for watching. As always, stay safe.